My name is Todd Rosendahl. I graduated in 2000 and I'm playing for Linville Sully. Okay, tell us, you played last year. Tell us what last year's game was like, your favorite memory from it. Uh, last year's game was great. You know, it'd been 10, 12 years since we'd been able to put on pads and play before, you know, since the last time and just getting together with everybody, you know, getting out there and playing, the whole experience was great. The only complaint I heard from anybody was they didn't get to play enough. So, you know, I know we got too seriously injured, I guess. So, All right, most good. of the guys coming back? Uh, we have less this year than last year, and I think there were a lot of guys that wanted to do it once, you know, and then maybe didn't want to put in the effort getting ready again this year. So. So we had some people drop out, a couple new guys, but we have a good number, I think. Okay, what do you do to prepare for this year's game? I didn't do too much other than coming to practice. Um, we've been practicing for about two months and on Sundays, and I made it to most of those. And, and uh, last year, I think I prepared more because I felt like it's been so long, I don't know what to expect. And this year, I probably didn't prepare enough. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. Okay, what would your advice be to somebody who hasn't played an alumni game? I would just tell them to try it. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, come to the practices because it's if you don't know what's going on, it takes some of the fun out of it. I actually played in two games last year. Um, I filled in for another school and I hadn't practiced with them, and it was it was more of a thinking of what should I be doing and this and that than just going out and having fun. So the more you prepare, the more fun it is. All right, who's coming out to watch you play today? Well, I know my grandparents will be here for sure, and I think my brother's coming down. Um, other than that, I'm not. I'm not sure who else is coming. So. All right. What's your high school favorite football memory? Um, probably, probably going to the playoffs. Um, we went two years, and you know it was a great, great memory. Probably my junior year when we went. You know we would won a game, and and uh, but it's also probably the worst memory because you lose and your season's over. So. That's but, true. Do you ever think you were going to get a chance to play again? No, but I, no, I never did. And uh, when I graduated, I kind of, you know, tried to make the decision of whether I wanted to go to a smaller school and try to play in college a little bit too. And that you know, I, I didn't do that. So, you know, after that, you just kind of figure you, you'll never have the opportunity again. So it was great to have the opportunity. That's right. All right. Um, any advice that you'd like to give um, these kids coming out of high school? Well, I'd, I'd tell them to, to play, and even if you don't want to, you know, play right away, that, you know, keep it in mind four or five years down the road, because I think it means more to the guys that are older that know that this might be the only shot, that, you know, they ever have, where, you know, some of the younger guys think, oh, I could skip a few years and still maybe play, but I know there's some guys that are, you know, know that today may be the last time they can ever do it. So, you know, even if you don't want to do it right away, I'd say keep in mind and, and think about it in the future. For most of you guys, there was no alumni football art around before, so this is huge for these these kids to think, oh, I get to play again. Yeah. For you guys, it was like, I'm never going to get to play again. Yeah, we, we would have never imagined anything like this, you know, when we were getting out of school. And I know the guys that are older than me, I'm sure they had no <laughs> thoughts of anything like this ever happening, so. That's pretty cool. You got a whole bunch of different age groups playing that practice. What's that like? Um, it's great, and I think I'm in the kind of the best position because I'm kind of in the middle age of you know who's playing. So I get to play with the guys that are that I looked up to when I was younger, and they were playing high school. And then I get to meet a bunch of the younger guys that that I didn't know. You know, I might have known them when they were little kids, but you know, you lose track of them. So I think being kind of in the middle of the age groups is a good thing because you get a you know a good variety, and it's it's fun playing with some of the guys you never played with before, and it's a good time. Get to be an example for the younger guys out there, and then for the older guys. You kind of get to learn a little bit from them too. Yeah, I'm not sure anybody wants to use me as an example, but but it, it's it is fun.